we're still here at the summit, Buckle Up 2020, and uh, I got a chance to steal my own spot in the chair so James didn't hog all the spotlight. So, um, but I'm here with Lauren Riddick, and he is uh, someone who specializes in reverse mortgages. Now, that's a super unique type of mortgage, um, and you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's it's pretty different now than it used to be. So, can you walk us through a little bit about how that used to look and and what's so different about it now? Well, I think, uh, first off, it's great to be here. Thank you for spending time with me. And um, James, no offense, but a lot easier on the eyes, man, so it's all good. Uh, but I'll, I'll tell you that, first off, being a East Tennessee fella, uh, I was very resistant to the reverse mortgage. I thought that it didn't make any sense. Uh, snake, oil, snake oil and voodoo, if you will. And That's it, a pretty common reaction, though, isn't it? Oh, it's very common. Yeah. Uh, and, in fact, uh, it was something I wanted nothing to do with. Uh, obviously, I didn't want to relate my name with anything that's uh, not something I believe in. And it really took me about 13 years to pull my fingers out of my ears and open my eyes and realize that, number one, there's actually no difference in ownership between a forward loan and a reverse loan. And Well, let's talk about that li- yeah. real quick, because that, that might be a little bit of loan industry language, yeah. okay. right? So no different in ownership. Now, do you mean in terms of, you know, the bank owning it or yeah, the borrower, the, the owner, the original homeowner? How do you, how do you mean that? Well, I think like a great, uh, one of the biggest things is most folks, they have the understanding uh, that the bank actually owns the home until a client pays it to zero. A lot of times I'll speak to a real estate partner, for example, be a room and say, hey, let me ask you a question. If you meet a client that's still got 11 years left before Wells Fargo is paid off, who owns their home? Wells Fargo or the client. And many times they'll say the bank bank or Wells Fargo. And then I will ask them, well, when's the last time Wells Fargo signed the purchase contract? Or when's the last time you sent your client to Wells Fargo okay. to get permission to remodel Wells Fargo's bathroom or kitchen? Oh, that's a good and point. And so uh, a forward loan, pardon me, is just any other loan that you've ever known where you have a mandatory payment. The reverse just has the same similar situation. It's a lien on property, but an optional payment. Okay. And then the second piece, it sounds too good to be... True. Right. And the yeah. reason it's not is exactly like the forward side. If there's FHA mortgage insurance, Insurance, VA mortgage insurance, in that same fashion, that insurance doesn't protect the borrower, it protects the servicing lender. And so oh. the care at the end of the stick, while the senior is giving uh, an IOU, if you will, instead of a payment, uh, they know they're going to get their uh, money no matter what. And of course, then it goes into a generational thing. Uh, our generation, generation before, uh, they feel like it's a great thing if you get your home paid off. Right. But the reality of it is all we're doing is celebrating the fact that we've locked away our equity forever. So if we don't call yeah, a real estate a agent point. or a banker, we'll never touch our money. So uh, and in certain states like Tennessee and the majority of the union, if we pass in a nursing home, the state has the ability to put a lien on the property. So the reality of it is it's much better to go into that situation, go ahead and get half your equity, let it work for you. So it's an amazing program. Fascinating. So it sounds like, well, so I know from doing more forward work, which uh, just to clarify again, really is any other type of loan. So when you go to purchase a house, like say a first time home buyer, right, that's considered a forward loan. And then what Lauren's talking about is a reverse loan. So it's very fancy terminology to explain that. But, um, you know, from the forward and the reverse perspective, perspective, you know, when you think about wealth in the U.S. and how that's accumulated and how that flows, correct me if I'm wrong here, but it's something like 80% of Americans rely on their home equity for retirement. Mm. Is that... Well, I'll tell tell you this. uh, I'm not familiar with the percentage exactly, but I know it's significant. I know that uh, from our studies with Norma and National Reverse Mortgage Lender Association, I'm very honored to have the designation of CRMP, Certified Reverse Mortgage Professional. Well, that's pretty elusive. Um, For those of you that don't know, (laughs) there are very few people with that designation. About 170. Yeah, Uh, there's a lot of states, okay? (laughs) And 170 between all of them. So I'm just saying, if you're looking to know a little bit more, 
Lauren's your guy. Well, I'm very, very thankful of that, and I appreciate it. And I think that, you know, one of the things about the reverse is it is an amazing program that allows – uh, seniors, to your point, uh, see, there's studies say there's six to seven trillion dollars in senior equity out there. Six wow. to seven trillion. And to your point, wow. what good is the equity if there's not a vehicle to leverage it? So, uh, what what's really fundamentally happened is the loan that most folks think it's the loan of last resort uh, is not the loan of last resort. The reality of it is it's very much for that wealthy client, that client that can actually put down as much as half the equity down on a purchase, reverse purchase, so someone can actually buy a $700,000 home at age 75, and they need around $350,000 down, and they can combine that with a $350,000 FHA insured reverse, which allows them to double their buying power, and there's even a portfolio uh, level of these loans that are separate from FHA that'll go up to $6 million, guys. So it's an amazing opportunity, wow. and then you flip the script to financial planners, many people refer to this as the financial plan of 2020 for seniors because, as I said, there's six to seven trillion dollars in senior equity, 10 to 12,000 seniors turning in 62 every day. And the reality of it is there's not a very good vehicle because they haven't prepared for retirement. And so what Dr. Wade Fowl says, he is a guru among financial planners. He challenges financial planners with fiduciary responsibility. They say, listen, you're more likely to be sued if you don't talk about a reverse than if you do, period. That's powerful. It is very powerful. And to better understand that, there's two points I would make. Number one, as crazy as it sounds, folks, if a client has a $600,000 home, completely paid off, they have millions in assets, retirement, whatever, but they have option A, leave it completely in the home, subject to the market and everything else, and understanding that the children, only one half, one half of 1% actually want their parents' home. They want the equity and the parents want the equity. But understand that, and understand that if they take that $600,000 home, they can put a $300,000 line of credit in place, leave it alone, it's growing at around 5% per year. They will then have access to 315,000 at the end of one year. Wow. They can leave it in there, continue to grow, or they can pull the 15 out. Now, they're going to pay interest on that, around four and a half, you know, give or take, uh, in today's terms. But they're going to be able to leave that money in there, or they can pull 15000 out, travel, pay prop-related charges, wow. still have access to 300000 Or, as you mentioned, that, in, that no man's land between retirement of 62, right, which is the minimum age for the reverse, up to maybe they're going to defer their Social Security longer. So that makes them more money. Oh, there's also wow, that gap between, point. yeah, there's that gap between 65 and 79 half for when they start taking their mandatory distribution from their 401k. Wow. So financial planners absolutely love it. And uh, it's just an amazing program that, that really goes in so many ways. Well, that's really fascinating. And you know, if I'm reading between the lines here, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like at... At the end of it, once everybody sort of understands what's really happening, that it, even the even the kids are really grateful for the parents taking out. Oh, of the yeah, absolutely. And it sounds like it helps the whole family, like generationally it does. down. It, it does because a lot of folks think, well, the reverse is great. I hear it all the time. Well, hey, this is going to be great for reverse because they don't have any children. Well, no, because number one, use that as a tool. They can go ahead and cash out, put money in a college fund for the grandkids. Oh, wow! Instead of making a mortgage. Payment, Let's assume this. Let's say they're 62 years or better, okay. and they're they have a $600,000 home. They're making payments on 300. Once they understand what's really going on, all they're doing is increasing the equity they can't take with them. So instead of having a mortgage payment of $1,200 a month until they're 92, right? Yeah. They can parlay that perhaps into a life policy uh, at a fraction of the cost, one oh, fourth, wow. one half. Use that as a retirement tool. So many other avenues that they can go. In fact, many, now you're not going to remember this probably, but there was an old <laughs> show uh, called Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. And it was Mutual of Omaha's a, a name brand. Uh, and basically, that's one of the top financial entities in the nation. They specifically acquired Synergy One and Retirement Funding Solutions to cross-pollinate and help their clients under asset management 
to leverage that reverse mortgage. So what she's saying, is we just have to get the word out, guys. I mean, the reality of it is if you ask most people, and I'll just challenge you, those that are watching right now, I don't care why you're watching or what you're watching, but if you are asked the question, a reverse mortgage is positive or negative, and you have to answer, most folks are going to be like I used to be, and they're going to say, well, negative. Right. And you say, well, why? They, they can't tell you. Or they're going to say something crazy like, you know, the bank gets the house or, you know, you're going to get kicked out of your home or something nuts. So, again, I would just say. I mean, say, that's what I believed before talking with you. To be honest, I had no idea. Well. Before meeting yay. Lauren and, and the, hearing what the reality really is, you know, like, I, I, I'm looking at, you know, for me, it's my grandparents at this point. Um, but I'm sort of looking at their situations in a whole new light where it never would have occurred to me oh my to do any of that. And, you know, now when I hear and I'm starting to learn and sort of gather how much more is really involved here, I'm like, oh, man, I really have to get my grandparents to be doing this. It's it's such a, a game changer for quality of life and lineage and you know, what they what they're able to you know, live out in the end of their life. And I think that that's super valuable, but also what they pass down. It sounds like it really does magnify everything, which is yes. just, it, you know, it does. It sort of hurts the brain, right? It changes, Those of us who are a little bit more linear are like, uh, <laughs> but you know, the math checks out, which is the crazy part. Well, and it's just about giving options. You know, everybody's yeah. got their own way of doing things and, and it speaks to thrive. I mean, what an amazing company that we have that has the vision of, uh, of what the reverse can do, but not just reverse, but construction and non-QM and so yeah. many avenues that we can do to empower and reach people. And uh, it's just amazing. And and I would just say, hey, reach out to uh, reverse at thrivemortgage.com. Uh, reverse at thrivemortgage.com. You can reach out to me personally on my cell. I don't mind. 865-850-2300. 865-850-2300. I would love to field any question. Again, I have uh, a big belief in the program. It just means a lot that I was able to yeah. share a little bit about it today. Definitely, definitely. And and before we lose you, right, I, I've i heard so, a little something, something about just how much, uh, you know, those that you work with so appreciate you. So I, you know, without bragging on you specifically, you know, but I would like to know, what is it that your clients most often say at the end of a transaction? Well... <laughs> I first, I would say I have an amazing team. I mean, an amazing team. And, and that team has really exceeded expectations. I think it goes wow. everybody. You know, that, that's from leadership all the way down. So I would definitely defer there. Uh, you know, Elaine Gregory, she's our 77-year-old client relations specialist. And I hope we get a chance to, uh, you guys get a chance to talk to Don Larson. He's my 80-year-old old minor league baseball coach. He's wow. here at this event. Uh, just a national story was just done on him and about to be done oh, on cool. him and Elaine about empowering seniors in that arena of reverse. Uh, and he became a client. And in fact, the story says how a Heckam borrower becomes a reverse originator. So it's that is cool. Yeah, it's very, very cool. And he's here at the event. So, you know, we'll I have think to drag him over. Yes. <laughs> but I would say that, you know, they say sports, religion, and politics, you don't talk about, but I know who butters my bread. Thank you, Lord. And I know I look at this as my ministry on earth to be to help people. Uh, and I'm very proud of the fact that you can't find one person that can truthfully say that I lied to them, I cheated them, I, I didn't do them right. Uh, and normally when people tell you that, you better run. But uh, <laughs> I'm, I, take, I take great pride in that and I'm very thankful. And for those of you in East Tennessee, you know that if you don't do business that way, you won't be in business long. And, and I think that's a common theme around the nation. Yeah, definitely. Well, thank Serve, you so right? much for your time. No, thank you. And you know, Such a pleasure.